Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Gemini. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Gemini placement that you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. First card out. We're getting straight into it. Ooh, you got a nice little spread here this week. Eight of Wands is your first card out. Strongest energy for the week. Major Arcana, the Chariot cards. Cancer energy could be important to you. We also have Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. Whatever you, go, whatever you got going on, Gemini, it's good. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday. That could also be why things this spread is looking so good. Because it's, it's, it's your birthday month. It's your season. And you're coming into it with a bang. Like Eight of Wands, yeah. Some of you might be traveling. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The end to reality as you know it. Something didn't kill you. It made you stronger here with the Ten of Swords. That's usually what that's about. Page of Pentacles. This is like a new dawn. Very much giving new dawn, new day, new opportunities for improvement, new opportunities for stability. Some of you are leaving a place where you have felt helpless a little bit. Like you didn't have control of what's going on around you. But whatever situation that was bringing that sort of concept is done or it's about to be you're about to be released from that sort of thinking that sort of vibration eight of wands a new beginning a new spark some sort of new um opportunity to sort of get going get moving some of you might literally need to move with the eight of wands on the chariot card here and the the wheel of fortune is also movement energy because the wheel only moves like once or twice right to go up or to go down Eight of Wands, though. Travel might be necessary or suggested. Some sort of conversation could also be happening here. That is what's creating this opportunity to, to move forward. Because I do, I do see things have been tough. It's been a little bit tough. Um, at least mentally. There's been something that looks like it's been weighing on your mind heavily for a while. But it's coming to an end. You're no longer going to have to worry about whatever this swordsy thing is going on. Could be work with the page of Pen with the page of cup um page of pentacles because we also have the king of pentacles here so some of you could definitely be getting a new job position uh moving to somewhere that has op better job opportunities maybe getting a better job opportunity that uh, is going to require you to move but this is something you absolutely want here with the ten of cups lots of masculine energy here too some of you, if this is about a relationship, whether it's a friend, family member, lover, whoever it is, there's some sort of, for some of you, it's this is about a relationship. Um, and I, I think it's almost like you were nervous. You weren't really sure where you stood with somebody. You weren't really sure. Maybe you were on a particular thought pattern, but you weren't sure if this other person was also on a thought pattern because you do have two eights here too, which is also about destiny and fate. Also patterns. It's like if you haven't heard from somebody in a week, your mind automatically goes to, you know, they're an asshole. They ghosted me, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's just what you that's just what you do. You spiral. But this is like, boom, that person calls you and is like, you know, maybe not a week, but they got a good reason as to why you probably haven't heard from them. And they're very apologetic. They want to make it up to you. You know, it's not like I'm not talking about a year or anything like that. The week's even too much. It's like you go on a date and then, you know, they don't call you back right away. And you're like, oh, well, they don't like me. Well, that was a waste of time. They're a jerk. And then they call you back, you know, maybe a minute or two after you go down that rabbit hole. And you're like, oh, OK. But I do get there's some sort of conversation or communication here that puts whatever whatever thoughts that you are getting the time to think, it puts them to rest. It creates clarity. And I think you see that there is real opportunity here. And I think you may go for it. We have the Ace of Wands and the Fool card, which is all about going for it. Emperor, Ten of Wands, King of Cups. Yeah, there's the Nine of Swords. The overthinking I was getting. Definitely some sort of overthinking here. It does look like whoever, you do, whoever it is you're dealing with, they have a lot of responsibilities. This is not someone that doesn't have a job or, you know. Whoever this is, they got a lot of responsibilities. Very busy individual. Could be someone that runs a company or has a high position in their in their particular career. But with the Emperor and the Ten of Wands, I am getting someone that has a lot going on. A lot going on. So they might not call you as often as you'd like. But you can't allow your mind to go there. 
because it does it genuinely looks like whoever it is you're dealing with they got a lot going on they're busy they're important <laughs> they run shit they got a lot of they got a lot of people you know but they got a lot of burdens they got a lot of responsibilities with the ten of wands so they won't be able to sort of uh, be at your beck and call like that but that also should not allow you to go there this is a good opportunity to kind of realize hey maybe i'm a bit excessive maybe i'm a bit excessive i expect a lot and i need to heal that because i do see there's a connection here six of cups is definitely speaking of some sort of soul connection but that could also speak to patterns things that we always do luckily the ten of cups is here which tells me the outcome is th this has a p beautiful potential outcome and if this is work go for it if you gotta move or you get a job in another state or another country or go for it but i think also a heads up if this is job related it does look like whatever this new position is it does it is going to require a lot a lot of responsibility the money is great you know Everything's good, but it is going to require you to be very, you know, have a lot more workload. If that's okay with you, King of Cups. So now we have Emperor and the Empress, the King of Cups. Some of you, this is definitely financial. And you are going to be receiving some sort of opportunity to improve that. But I think the heads up is it's going to it's gonna be a lot different. Maybe you won't have as much free time as you used to. You'll be working a lot more, but it's definitely... You know, an opportunity. Obviously, you don't have to take it. Some of you will. Some of you won't. It's an opportunity. It does look like it's something you love doing with the Ace of Pentacles. With the Ace of Wands, sorry. And it has a, you know, your family are gonna be, is going to be happy with the Ten of Cups. This is a relationship. It does look like this person has feelings for you, though. Whether they have said it or not, that could also be with this Eight of Wands. is about some sort of communication, letting this, letting you know where you stand when it comes to this person. So there's no more guessing. There's no more wondering. There's no more allowing your mind to wander. Guidance, please. For Gemini. So Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, and Cancer, Spices, Scorpio. Heavy emphasis on Cancer. So this is in general, not letting our minds get away with us. Whatever situation you is, wait, worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so whatever this is i think the, the key here is not to let our mind get away with us not because things don't happen the way we want them to at the time we want them to the way we want them to does not mean they're not happening right yeah okay release your ex the time has come to clear your energy definitely could be as i said some of you it's learned behavior this is not who you are off the bat but because you've been in other situations that has required you to be the sort of overthinker you're stuck in that this is also what needs to be healed a pattern that could need to be healed to be to be released guidance please first gemini it's it's too much it's, it's weighing too much it costs too much energetically to carry you'd be a lot lighter and be able to see situations a lot more clearly without it Guidance, please. For Gemini. I also get something could be happening fast here. So this is also something is happening fast. Take a minute. Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed. Take as much time as you need to sort of come to the conclusion you need to come to. Because it does look like it's a big decision. Good opportunity, great opportunity, but it will require work for sure. And you will have to be held accountable. Guidance. Okay. Opportunity. No need to worry. There we go. Straight to the point. Like that. Guidance, please. First Gemini. Thank you. We have transforming tragedy. Loss is my reminder that more room has been made for greater gifts to be received. Very much the vibes. Some of you have become an overthinker. You're not naturally an overthinker. Other past situations have taught you to be an overthinker. It's time to unteach yourself. It's time to release. It's not serving you anymore. At the time, it was serving you. It's no longer serving you. It wasn't meant to kill you or you weren't meant to stay here. It just meant to make you a little bit more cautious but not an overthinker there needs to be balance i'm surprised no balance cards came out but transforming tragedy 
so that we don't continue to call tragedies to ourselves. No need to worry. And if I didn't say opportunity enough, the divine reiterated it here with the, with the opportunity card. An opportunity worth waiting for. Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. Number 18, which is a 9. This is way too many. Dog Spirit, be loyal to what you love. Number 19, which is a 10. So 9, 10. And Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Yeah, there's that wisdom and knowledge energy. Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between. Number 26, which is an 8. So 8, 9, 10. Interesting. And what's 7 and 6? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, okay. 8, 9, 10, 13. <laughs> uh, let's get some of this. 13 could be a significant number for some of you. But progress. It's time to progress. That's what that's saying. 8, 9, 10. It's time to leave this sort of, you know, thing behind. Surrender to the divine. There we go. Time to surrender. It's not our story anymore. We're making new stories. We're rewriting it. We're, we're doing our own endings. We're not doing the endings that someone else gave us. And did I get one of these? No, I just got one of these for you. Gemini. Thank you. Let go, flip out too. Make room for the new beginning that's on the way to you and vacation. You will soon be traveling. So some of you need to take a vacation. Go where the flamingos are. Go see some flamingos and let go. Because as soon as you let go, it's like things just, psh, you're out of there. Nothing can hold you. You're unholdable. That is your reading, Gemini. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.